Let's talk about Liverpool goal scorers, strikers, uh, because Danny Murphy watched them, played with them, played against them, and there's so many of them. But who is the number one? And we're talking, what are we talking about? The modern era, so from the 80s onwards, maybe? Is that what, where we? Oh, it could be anybody, couldn't it, really? It would have to be for me, because I can only judge on what I've seen so much of. Yeah. It's hard to look back and just see snippets and then have an opinion. But I sure. do respect, obviously, the, the people in the past that I haven't seen. But, yeah, I think, I think so for me. Who's your number one, then? Oh, we're going straight in. Are you, what, what's, <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's... I, I grew up... My two favourite players, my two heroes... My first one was Kenny Dalglish. Mm -hmm. Because I loved what he was on the football pitch, which was skill, passes, goals, creativity. Um, something about him drew me to him. Um... Everything about him drew me to him, actually. Mm. So he was my hero growing up. And then John Barnes became my next one. Now, they're not two of Liverpool's greatest goal scorers, but they're two of Liverpool's greatest players in what they did for me, in terms of what, what joy they brought to me. Yeah. If you're talking about strikers and goals, goal machines, and they've had a lot, I played with two of the best of them, Robbie and Michael, unbelievable players in different ways at times. But Rushy was the greatest goal scorer Liverpool have ever had. I mean, 346 goals. I mean, it's it's nothing short of ridiculous. Yeah. Now, some people have said to me, um, I mean, Gary Lineker, was, who I respect greatly, as you know, he, he was talking to me and saying, well, Rushy was lucky because he had Kenny. And <laughs> Liverpool fans will be listening now who watched Kenny and Rushy together more than me because I got Kenny near the end when I first started watching Liverpool and Rushy. And they'll have seen, there'll be people out there now saying, oh, you know, did Kenny make Rushy as amazing as he was, or was Rushy just amazing, or mm. both? Mm. Um, but I think, for me, Rushy's the greatest goal scorer because of the longevity, the amount of trophies, the, the, you know, just what he did at that football club. To score that amount of goals is, is unbelievable. OK, so if in terms of goal scorer, and you can... In an era, sorry, in an era where you know as well as I do, you get kicked. Mm. You get hammered. You get people coming through the back of you. It was a different time. He never seemed to be injured either. It was no. incredible. But, uh, all right, goal scorer, you can easily use number of goals to, to back up what you're saying. Yeah. This is why I think the terminology is important, uh, why I mentioned strikers rather than goal scorers or attacking players. Yeah. But then when you're saying attacking players, do you bring Barnes into it, who was phenomenal? Do you, do you bring Gerrard into it? Well, uh, also with Barnes, it's worth saying, in a... T in a t when they won the league the last time, other than last year, was it 91, was it? 1990. 90, 90. It was because of Barnes. He was that big a player and big an influence. Now, I mean, Salah at the moment, in the last few years, Salah, with, if he carries on the way he is, he could become the greatest or one of the greatest goal scorers. Indeed. You know, the way he's going, it's, yeah. it's incredible. I think when it's happening, you don't really appreciate it the same as when it's gone. Like anything, I suppose. But he's he's doing tremendous things. Um, I I think it's 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 opinions, isn't it? There's so much. Yeah, of to, course. You're going to talk about what Suarez, Torres. I don't know. Well, let me just uh, explain why this has cropped up because when we were talking yesterday about um, Gerard Ulia and paying tribute. I talked about how brilliant Owen was when he came on the scene yeah. under Gerard Ulia, and then remembered Fowler was there as well, and and just. It, it's kind of mind blowing to think that two strikers that were there at the same time in the same era and they were both incredible. I mean, truly incredible when they're at their peak and, and when injuries didn't get in the way. So that led me to think, well, of those two, who would you pick? Yeah. And that's virtually impossible to choose. And then it brought in some from before, like Rush, etc., some from after. Torres is mentioned in there, Suarez as well. There's been so many good Liverpool strikers. It just made me think, well, who is the number one? And it will be all about opinions. I would probably have to say, and I'm kind of reluctant to, to say Luis Suarez, but I am. The reason I'm reluctant is because, um, I, you know, I was, I was brought up on admiring that Liverpool side of the late 80s. That's the best club side I've seen up until Pep's Barcelona. That side was irresistible. And Barnes was a joy to watch. The yeah. way he slalomed his hips and the movement. Effortless, wasn't it? Oh, man, he was just... He, John Barnes was incredible. And to think he used to get left out of the England side is beyond belief. It is. It's, <laughs> it, it's mind-blowing. It's, it's truly incredible. He was sensational. But I look at Luis Suarez, and 
the talent that he had. He was a different kind of striker, wasn't yeah, he? But, but he, he got the goals, didn't he, to back it up? So I, I don't know. I mean, Suarez, it, it, Suarez had that. He, he had he had the ability to make goals himself. Mm. Could beat people, dribble. You know that one where he nick it through people's legs. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's a bit lucky. It was not lucky. He does it every week. Mm. He he scored different types of goals. He, he had that kind of instinct around the box, six yard box, the little tappings as well. But he he scored wonder goals, free kicks. Yeah, he had he had amazing ability, Suarez. But I think because it was so condensed, it would be hard to say he's the great. You know, one of the greatest. What do you mean? Uh, as in, he wasn't there long. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I'm not suggesting he wouldn't have done it for longer if he'd have stayed. Mm. In terms of natural ability, Robbie was probably the best in terms of natural ability. Okay. Because Robbie had two feet. Rushy was two-footed, to be fair, but not like Robbie. Robbie's right foot was nearly as good as his left, and Robbie scored a lot of headers. You know, Michael's left foot wasn't as good as Robbie's right, um, and although Michael got a few headers, Robbie probably got... He's probably better in the air. Michael, where Michael came into his own was his single-mindedness and big-game mentality. Michael in the big games would always produce. I never got... I, I suppose the other thing as well, although I had some wonderful times with Robbie and Michael at the club, Robbie, when he first burst on the scene, a bit like Michael, was when he was at his best. And I wasn't with playing with him when he was banging in 30 a season for three seasons on the spin or whatever it was, that mm. amazing time he had. I kind of caught Robbie a bit more just after that. And I was with Michael when he was at his hottest. Mm. So I've been asked loads of times, and sometimes I've picked Michael, sometimes I've picked Robbie because <laughs> I'm too scared to just stay on one. But Was Michael Owen the quickest? Yeah, when yeah, he came, yeah. There's no doubt about that, is there? But, but the other thing with Rushy, I think, which is you have to get, you have to take this into consideration is what he won now you could argue that's the team he's in but the best teams always have a brilliant goal scorer mm, don't they mm. you know when you look back over the years but as I said I'd be interested and uh, interested to hear some Liverpool fans about that early Dalglish Rush partnership and was Rush too reliant on Dalglish or will we ever know because they stayed fit so long didn't yeah. they you know we talk about injuries now and squads I mean, what was it? Talking late 70s, early 80s. Mm. I think Rushy came in early 80s. Dalgley signed 77, I think he signed. Yeah. Um, so, you know, <laughs> how they did that then, play every week, getting kicked to smithereens, you know, it, it's it's unbelievable when you think back at it. The pitches. Yeah, it is amazing. And when they were winning those titles, Liverpool, they barely used anything beyond 12, 13 players today. I mean, it's, it is amazing. Well, that you used they to get more play breathers, isn't they? Rolling it back to Brucey or That's Ray true, Clements yeah. and that. And pick, <laughs> pick it up and have a Alan Anson and Mark Lawrence. Looking forward to getting some of your views on uh, the best ever Liverpool strike. You don't even have to be a Liverpool fan. You'll all remember the great Liverpool sides. You'll all remember recent strikers. You'll all remember Owen Fowler, etc. So let's hear from you. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four is the number.